Ever wondered what happened on the fateful day of 2nd September 1666 in London? It was a day that altered the course of history, a day that saw the capital of England consumed by a monstrous fire. This event, famously known as the Great Fire of London, 1666, has intrigued historians and casual observers alike for centuries. What sparked this massive blaze? How did it change London and indeed, the world? Join us as we unravel the events of that devastating day. It all began in a small bakery on Pudding Lane. In the heart of London, among the maze of narrow winding streets, stood the humble bakery of Thomas Fariner. As the city slumbered in the early hours of September 2, 1666, a spark ignited within the walls of this bakery, a spark that would soon set the city ablaze. You see, back in those days, homes and businesses, including Fariner's Bakery, were predominantly made of wood, a material highly susceptible to fire. Buildings were also built closely together, often leaning towards each other over narrow lanes. This close proximity turned the city into a veritable tinderbox, primed and ready for the spark that would ignite it. On that fateful night, it is believed that a small fire started in Fariner's Bakery. With the household asleep, the fire quietly grew, feeding on the wooden structures around it. By the time the alarm was raised, it was too late. The fire had begun its destructive march. The weather too played a vile accomplice to the flames. A strong east wind swept through the city that night, fanning the flames and pushing them westward with a ferocity that no one could have anticipated. Within a short span, the fire had spread far beyond the bakery, leaping from building to building, street to street. Efforts to douse the fire were in vain. The city's primitive firefighting equipment was woefully inadequate against the raging inferno. As the fire raged on, it devoured churches, houses, and even the Grand London Bridge. Nothing was spared. In the midst of the chaos, the people of London could only watch helplessly as their beloved city was consumed by the flames. The fire showed no mercy, no discrimination. It consumed the homes of the rich and the poor alike, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. And so, the small spark turned into a monstrous inferno, consuming everything in its path. Within hours, the city of London was ablaze. The flames, fueled by the wooden architecture prevalent in the city, spread with a speed and ferocity that left onlookers in awe and terror. Efforts to control the raging inferno proved futile, as the fire seemed to have a life of its own, consuming everything in its path. The city's firefighters, ill-equipped and unprepared for a disaster of this magnitude, were overwhelmed. Buckets of water were thrown in a desperate attempt to douse the flames, but it was like trying to stop a tidal wave with a teacup. The fire was relentless, and the city's defenses crumbled under its onslaught. Landmarks that had stood for centuries were reduced to smoldering rubble in mere hours. The iconic St. Paul's Cathedral, a beacon of hope and resilience, fell victim to the flames, its majestic spires collapsing into the inferno. The fire did not discriminate, homes, shops, churches, all were consumed in its fiery grasp. With the city ablaze, residents were forced to flee, leaving behind their homes and possessions. The streets were filled with the desperate cries and prayers of those displaced, their faces illuminated by the eerie glow of the city burning. The fire raged on, leaving a path of destruction in its wake. London, once a bustling metropolis, was now a city of ashes, its heart ablaze with a fire that would reshape its destiny forever. As the embers cooled, a new dawn broke over London. The city was left in ruins, with an estimated four-fifths of it reduced to ash and rubble. But from this devastation, a city was reborn. The aftermath was a sight to behold with roughly 13,000 houses, 87 churches and numerous iconic structures like the Royal Exchange obliterated. Yet, the indomitable spirit of Londoners shone through. They embarked on an ambitious rebuilding process that lasted nearly a decade. Architects seized this opportunity to reshape the city. Narrow winding streets were replaced with broader, straighter ones, Buildings were now made from brick and stone, not the flammable wood of old. Furthermore, new fire safety regulations were established, forever changing the city's approach to fire prevention and control. In the years that followed, the city that rose from the ashes was a far cry from its former self, yet it retained the resilience and character of its people. Thus, out of the ashes of the Great Fire, a new London was born.